always saying people welcome back to another video i'm gonna shut this door quickly so uh i've got a daf what a surprise um 2017 cf85 no connection to jail test let me quickly i'm gonna have to turn the camera around to show you but this is what happens every time we check it so i'm just going to do a main system of scan for now because I don't need to do a full system scan. I want to read the anti-pollution anyway, so if we just do that. Uh, all the main systems here, engine, anti-pollution, gearbox, brakes. Just your main, basic, chassis-wise stuff, really. So, all it will do, it'll do its scan, and you'll see it will flick through it very, very quickly. Oh, it's going to make me look stupid. Look, see how quickly it's flicking through? And it all comes, should come down here, but nothing's coming up. The little buzzer here, buzzer, sorry, the Bluetooth thing should flicker. It's obviously getting some, some, some sort of signal from it. We're in the right system, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be working. Um, so this is going to be, even the little box uh, is doing something. So we're going to have to, probably, if it don't connect now, Let's strip that panel out and have a look at the plug. So this may be a short video. This may be a long video. It's uh, one of them. We're going to wing it and we're going to see what happens. So once it's scanned, I'll show you what it says. So there we go. The important system generally installed. Blah blah blah. You have not detected. Please verify the system is present. Well, I'm pretty sure the engine needs to use there, and I'm pretty sure the braking needs to use and everything like that's there. So unless someone's nicked it off the truck and it's still not got any really lights on, then we've got a bit of a problem so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that panel off we're going to have a look at the plug and see if we can find out why this is not connecting all right so we've got that stupid panel off um have a look at this plug they don't leave a lot of room really to actually like do anything because it's so tight so what i'm going to do is that wire there a little bit what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it in and then just see if any pins move for a start. So, I'm going to try and do this one handed. Let's see if I can see anything. I don't know if that yellow wire is there, it's come out a little bit. So. As you can see there, it looks like that. If I pull that yellow wire, that yellow wire has come out of there. Will it focus? Not really. So, let's uh, push it in and make sure it's not... I'm going to pop back out again. If it does, we might have to put a pink in it, but let's, uh, let's see what happens from there. That is quite a common wire to come out there, to be fair. I don't know why, but when we've always had them come loose, it's normally that wire, so... We'll try and push it in and then we'll try and reconnect again. Right, so I have got it to re read it. The pin I'm still not happy with, so I have got a... So, I have got it to um, link. I've just disconnected this. The pin, I'm not happy with it. Um, it's a little mashed anyway, so I've got a pin set. Plug everything. I'm going to repin it. Um, I've ordered a PM sensor because that's what it needs. But we're not going to leave it because for the next person it will be a pain and that could be me. So, if you've never done one before, here is my guide to fit in the plug for how I would do it. So, let's uh, get cracking. So, in this plug, we've got a tab here, just a yellow tab. So, we should be able to just push it out, technically. There we go. Like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of the wires first so we know exactly where they go. So, pull this little tab out, it'll only go in one way, and then what I will do is, I don't know, I can't remember whether I just, 
pull out or not. So, that pin's okay. We're gonna check all the pins as we go along. Make sure they go back in the way that they came out. So, remember, it's, I, I actually watched a video. I've been watching a few videos the other day. I can't remember who um, suggested it, but one of the our subscribers suggested about watching a YouTube channel called Bad, Bad Obsession Motorsport and it's brilliant so I highly suggest going to watch that so we've got our pictures that's our dodgy yellow one there what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put a new pin in that because it's pretty smashed up you can see it it isn't in the best of shapes so we'll put a new one in and repin it uh, and then we'll start putting all the other ones in right so i've actually repinned the other wire so now i'm gonna time lapse the rest i'm gonna repin the rest of it and then we'll see whether we can actually get a connection I don't know whether that's like not really singing, but yeah, you can see we're stripping this plug away pretty quick. Obviously, it is on time lapse, but we'll just say it's quick anyway. So, pin the plug, pin the plug. I'm gonna. The only thing I would say is so frustrating about these bloody plugs is the fact you just can't get in to get them. Like why, why don't they put such a short loom on it? It's a bloody hard work. But we move, we get it going, and hopefully, if I can get this sodden thing in, come on. If you ever do one, you'll see what I mean. Like, you literally. There's no room anywhere. So, I'm gonna connect my box back up. And then let's see if we get some sort of connection. So, got it pinned. Got everything in. It is now 11.41. We're gonna scan it and see if we can get it to connect now and there we have it got communication so that is how you repair and strip a plug quite simple so if i get any more decent jobs or not i'll carry it on if not this will be it so this is the second day um i didn't get to I sorted the plug out, we did that, and then we, um, it was a PM sensor, which I showed anyway, so that was just about pinning the plug, checking all that stuff, making sure the pins don't come out, uh, check that yellow wire, because always for us it seems to be the yellow wire, so do check that, um, but obviously it was a little bit about the plug and what, what to look for and that sort of stuff, so our next job on a different truck now, we're going to be doing on this, um, we're going to start with anti-roll bar bush, these little things here so we're going to do them first and then we have a turbo speed sensor to do so i've not done one before so it's going to be new to me as well so it's just a little bit of everything um but yeah i hope you're still enjoying all the content uh I'm trying to keep it up as much as i can uh so yeah let's um let's get this stripped kind of and have a look and then um see what we're dealing with So these are the bushes, it's like little, it's what they look like, like big end bearings, stuff like that, but yeah, so um, the top half ones are okay, um, but we've got a set and Put it on 
come down the roll bar. So have to drop down if it needs to. Bad, it's quite loose. I'm going to go eat from here and then uh, we'll drop down. So all I've done, get it with the jack, just supporting it, and then we'll pull that out of there. Like so, just gives us a, gives us the control on the jack to go. Uh, we need to go. So they're out. Let's get the new ones in. This was one of these jobs. Just use the jack and use to control the anti-roll bar up and down. Just makes it so much easier, and it moves up and down. It was really nice and free. No problems with it. Really, quite a. A simple job really, just yeah, like I say, use the jack f to your advantage, don't don't struggle, it's, uh, when you've got the equipment there, use it. So, I took all that pipe work off, I don't know about that, I don't know if shown about that. There is our turbo speed sensor, have a look inside, turbo, make sure there's no damage. obvious so the wire comes up here and just literally sort of goes there it's down there from here up to that so seven mil looks like for the bolt let's get that undone first and then uh, we'll have a look at it all right boys so Here is our new one, and there is our old one. So, as you can see, I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be like that, unless this is the wrong one. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a problem there for sure. So, give me uh, a couple of minutes, and we'll also have a proper dig and have a look. And uh, then I'll come back. Right, boys and girls, whoever. There it is. So I don't know what the plan is yet. Um, cry probably first. So it's just one of those things that happened. It's a 2017. So I'm going to try and put a bit of something down there and then. Um, We'll see, we'll make a decision. So, you're probably all gonna think you're off your nut, mate. My first test is this. Drill the hole down, not too far, drill it down, screw that screw in so it's tight, and it is tight, and I'm basically just gonna try and pry it out. It's probably not gonna work, but we we give things a go. It, yeah, we'll see, let's, uh, I don't know, let's just have a go. Coming in. Pulling the screw.
Mark so level So I'm not actually sure but I don't know if it could actually come up or not. So I'm gonna screw this back in again. This probably is not the right way to do it but gotta give these things a go haven't we so I'm gonna loop it up a bit more and just keep trying this. So yeah, there we go. We caught it nicely. It, it worked. I'll jump to honest with you, I didn't think it was gonna work. But we give these things a go. It's only plastic, so it's obviously caught it nicely. I've checked inside, there's no damage or anything. So yeah, very lucky to get that out. I didn't think that was gonna come out to me. Well. It's quite hard plastic. So yeah, I'm gonna um, go and put the lottery ticket on tonight because uh, that was a miracle. But nah, just got, you sometimes you just gotta think outside the box of these things. Just, uh, yeah. So now we defeated the, uh, defeated the turbo. Just gonna, and gently slide the on here. So, give me a little roll. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. Sorry if you can't. And I'm just going to literally whiz it up. Secure this back and then we'll fit all the rest of the wiring so got lucky with that one but um yeah just uh, so don't give up on stuff don't think because it's broken that's it sometimes it will uh, it goes your way So yeah, here's our fault. It's an inactive error now, so as usual, we're gonna clear it, make sure nothing else comes on, and then, and hopefully, I'll be able to end that video there. So that's another one done. Um, yeah, that, I wasn't expecting that turbo speed sensor to split like that, but, well, these things happen. It's got to adapt and overcome and think of a way to get around it. Um, but yeah, all the other jobs weren't too bad to do, obviously. We did the plug yesterday, uh, adding that in, and we did the rear anti-roll bar bushes. So, not a bad little day's work, a few little defects there. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, um, and you can think about subscribing, I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if, if anyone uh, has done any of them speed sensors before and had that happen before, drop a comment and let me know. So. I hope you all keep them well and I can hope I can catch you all in the next video.